Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Keith. Uh, as you said, uh, my name is Jake Carpenter, and uh, I'm talking about fixing the world with apps, or in this case, at least health hiring. Uh, a little bit about me before I get started. I have a, a varied history, like a lot of Alaskans. I started uh, in the nonprofit world, moving to uh, government. I worked for the capital in the capital for a while. And then I left the state and got into various businesses. I am a software developer. I'm an unapologetic te technologist at heart. Um, but I also have a passion for being the bridge between humans and technology. And that's kind of been the, the theme around what I've done with my life. So now it's story time. Um, as a technologist, uh, I have done um, and created technologies uh, and um, to connect people with their with the world uh, in various ways since I graduated high school, um, and I've tried really hard to to span as wide as possible. But I've always avoided one area, and that that has been healthcare. Uh, as a child, I grew up uh, as a sibling of somebody with a developmental disability, so my normal uh, was always different than other people. Uh, when I would go through um, uh, when we'd have family events, there would be staff there. Uh, when, when we would go on vacation, it would be our family plus two or three staff for my brother. So uh, my normal was very different, and, and I'm telling you this story because um, that's the reality that a lot of people in our world live in, and we don't see it. Um, you know, probably everybody in this room is or has been a caretaker or will be a caretaker in their lifetime. So you're familiar with the concept of taking care of somebody. For people who experience uh, disability, whether it be intellectual development or, or some sort of profound disability, that's daily reality. Uh, and because I grew up in that life, I never intended to let it cross into my professional life. When I left home, I was done. Um, which is funny because uh, last year, uh, a previous startup that I was doing was winding down and I found myself at Innovation Summit sort of keeping an eye open for what I could do next. Uh, and I stumbled upon a session uh, that uh, Kim talked about, uh, talking about health tie. And, and we went in, and the first um, uh, thing she talked about was wicked problems. And what is a wicked problem? We heard about it, but basically it's a problem that is super difficult to solve because there's a lot of facets to it. The knowledge about it is incomplete or con contradictory. Uh, the number of people involved, the economic burden, the regulatory burden, and the interconnected nature makes it seem unsolvable. The, the wicked problem that we talked about was the DSP industry. Uh, a DSP is a direct support professional, or the people who care for those in our communities who are uh, vulnerable and need 24-hour care to get through their daily lives. The, uh, uh, the world or the national vacancy rate for a DSP is 12%. All of all DSP jobs are, uh, of all of them, 12% will be vacant at any time. It's a huge number. Uh, it, right now, that's about 120,000 jobs a year that go unfilled because they can't find people to fill them. But if they do find somebody, chances are that they're going to leave in the first year that they uh, have that job. It's an incredibly difficult job, and the, and the rates of uh, turnover are really high. In fact, 46% of the jobs turn over every year. Um, given that in 2025, there will be a million plus full-time uh, positions, that means around half a million people every year are going to turn over, half a million positions. It's a wicked problem. Why is this a problem that I'm interested in solving? When uh, you look at the DSP issue, it seems wicked because the, the benefits out there for being a DSP are low. It, the average yearly salary for a DSP is less than $25,000 a year in most areas. Um, and if you do get that job, it's very demanding, physically, mentally, emotionally. It's a hard job to have. And there's a complicated regulatory environment. And to even get the job because of that regulatory environment, you have to jump through a lot of hoops. So if you do find good people that are willing to do the job, you may not actually ever be able to hire them because they need a background check and they need first aid. And um, the amount of work just to get the job uh, when the job is only going to pay $14 an hour is prohibitive. So of all the problems, um, you know, they say the, the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. The best way to solve a wicked problem is to solve what you can. And we thought that lots of hoops to jump through could be something we could address. We could cut down some of those hoops. And so uh, working with Kim and 
ADD, we developed DSP Hire. And it, DSP Hire is an app that actually exists. Uh, we are launching our pilot project very shortly uh, to, in, on a smartphone, allow you to browse, apply, find, and complete the entire hiring process of a DSP job all on an app. So the first time that you may potentially see the HR director for that position is when you go in to start your first day. Uh, we simplify hiring process. It's, you know, it's not a different application for every job. It's a standard application. Uh, right now, uh, we've gone at a pretty breakneck pace uh, from an idea in March uh, to meetings about the, the problems and developing the prototype uh, to preparing our pilot project as we speak. Um, next week, we'll be launching the pilot project here in Anchorage, uh, and uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, and then, hopefully, we can take that into a full-fledged production app uh, by the end of the year. Um, our pilot project... Uh, is uh, going to be run here in Anchorage uh, through these organizations that have already signed on um, to use DSP Hire uh, for some of their positions and to provide us feedback. Um, we're, we're really excited to be working with Health Tie in this because uh, Health Tie is the organization that has arranged uh, the people coming together from all these organizations, from all uh, walks of life, clients, uh, DSPs, uh, and we'll really be providing us valuable feedback in order to um, uh, to create an awesome product. How can you get involved? Well, uh, get involved with health, health tie. There's something for everybody. We have, there's a need uh, for involvement at all levels, and uh, you've heard about different ways that you can get involved. Uh, this is a little preview of our app, um, and if you are interested in learning more about DSP Hire, uh, how we can help you or how it can, uh, or just, you just want to see more, uh, at dsphire.com slash XLAK survey, um, you can put in your email address and subscribe to our newsletter and we'll give you um, updates as we have them and, and let you know uh, as our launch date approaches. And that's all I have. Thank you very much for your time.